What the hell, Mom? Why do you have to always have to abbreviate things? Hey! Hey, you! Get out of here, you filthy hobo! Nah, man. I'm good right here. Dude, I caught something! Really? You really caught something? Yeah! Oh, oh it's a big one! Sorry about the food. Here. Eat this. Is it peanut? Yes. Yeah, I like it. So, you're not an ordinary homeless person. Nah, I was once, you know, regular guy, I guess. Uh, going to college. I was about to inherit my dad's law firm and stuff. Then, um, yeah, I could say I had life pretty set, you know girls and stuff, parties, money. It was definitely one of those, like, living large kind of things. So what happened? Well, you see, I was driving <clears throat> in New York to uh, go to this internship. And like, I had, it was in my BMW, and I see this guy just on the side of the street, just leaning up against the wall. I had a flannel on, actually, kind of like this. Had a, had a rope belt and um, just looked really, really happy. And so, I decided to stop, you know, regardless of, irregardless of being late for, for my uh, meeting that I had. But, you know, I asked him, hey man, why are you so happy? Because I look at him and I see his life is just full of content and joy. And I think myself as like some suited stooge who's miserable with life, working a nine to five for the rest of the life, you know? And so I asked him, you know, what makes him happy? He's like, the birds. And he points to this nest across the street, and he was, he was talking about these, I mean, the nest has long since been worn out, but he said that, you know, almost a year ago, he saw these baby birds just sort of sitting in this nest, all learned to fly away except for one of them. And so one day this baby bird tries to learn to fly, falls out the nest, and he said that the model bird looked so freaked out. And then like feet before it got to the ground, it actually like flapped its wings and flew away. So it could so freely travel with, with just, you know, it being itself. So I said, so what did you decide to do after that? And he said, well, I'd open my eyes to traveling with just what I have on my back, seeing what I can find. You know what? He suggested I try it too. I thought, okay, that sounds pretty cool. So I did. And uh, I gotta say, it, <laughs> it's been pretty great. I mean, I've been all over the place and just, I've gotten so much more out of life than I thought I ever would. Yep, well, it's my story. I'm gonna head on out though, see what the next day has in store for me. Good luck on your travel. Thanks. Thanks for the thanks for the granola bar. Hey man, no problem. I love granola. I love that others love granola. If I ever need to be hit the boot again, I'm calling you. You know what? Keep this. I feel like you'll look back on that boot. You know, this conversation we had, meeting each other, 